Okay, so with great joy, I welcome you to the maiden edition of Winning Ways for Singles. It's with great joy that I'm here today. And I'm super excited that you are here too. You know why? Because God has kept you. I want to appreciate God for the privilege to be here, even to obey this call. It's, I'm not taking it for granted. God has been so faithful and so loving to me. And I'm sure God is passionate about you. Yeah, and that's why I'm very, very excited. You know why? Because God kept you. Yeah. So many of your mates are not here. So many of your mates are nowhere to be found. Maybe they have gone because of so many situations beyond their power and beyond their control. But here you are today, kept by the mercy of God. And you know, just like David said in Psalm 139 verse 2, I want to read from the message version. It said, I'm an open book to you, even from a distance. You know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and you know when I get back. I'm never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me, you're there. Then up ahead, you are there too. Your reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. David understood what it meant for God to be passionate about someone. And he said here, you know, God is all around him. And you know, God is loving, is faithful, is passionate about you. Yeah, I can say it very well. God is passionate about you. And he gave us a promise in Joel chapter 2, verse 28, which I want you to put in mind. That's just the beginning. After that, I will pour out my spirit on every kind of people. Your sons will prophesy and your daughters. Your old men will dream. Your young men will see visions. Just to tell you, as a young man, as a young woman, God has a purpose for your life. As God has planned for all other people, yours is inclusive. In fact, your stage is one of the best stages in life. Do you hear what I just said? Your stage as a single is a determinant of how you will spend your life thereafter. I mean, in the next 10, 20, 50 years, how your life will be. Your young age now is a determinant of what that will be. I want to talk about vision. Vision as defined by uh, Merriam Webster Dictionary is ability to see. So as a young man, what do you see? As a young woman, what do you see? Vision is also what you imagine. It's a picture you have in your mind. Do you know whatever your mind can conceive, your hands can handle in reality. Whatever you can picture in your mind can come to pass in reality. God is seeking that you have time for him. God is seeking your attention. He wants you to be closer to him. But you know, so many singles today see a period of their single life as a free time. A time to enjoy their passion. A time to enjoy themselves. But do you know, it's a time of caution. It's a time for you to be conscious. Where are you going to be in the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years and even in eternity? I want to read also from the book of Titus, chapter 2, Titus chapter 2, verse 6. In similar way, all the younger men to be self-restrained and to behave prudently, in brackets, taking life seriously. That is to say, as a young man, as a young woman, you need to be cautious, you need to have self-control, you need to be prudent. You need to be wise and you need to be disciplined. If you are not disciplined, your life will be in chaos. Your life will be free for all. You remember, you don't have two lives to live. Only one life to live. Live to the glory of God. Let no man despise your youth. I pray the Lord will help your resolve in Jesus' name. God bless you.